Okay, here's an easy way of playing Mad World. Um, first of all, you put a capo on fret 1, just to keep it in the key. Okay, now the chords you need are E minor, which for E minor, I pretty much use my white fingers um, to fret strings 4 and 5 on the 2nd fret. That's 2nd fret relative to the capo. So there's your E minor. Now you go to a G from there. So I actually do a G5, so I take my middle finger straight up to this 6th uh, string, 3rd fret, and at the same time muting out the 5th string, I bring my uh, ring finger and pinky down to strings 1 and 2, so it looks like that, and there's my G5. Now whether you do your uh, G like this, or you do a standard 4 finger G, um, that's probably an easy way of doing it for a beginner because your ring finger is already on that second string ready to go to form the D. So you leave your ring finger there and then you bring those two fingers down to form your standard D. Okay, Make sure you mute out this low E and you play either from strings 5 or 4 down. So there's your D. Now the way I form an A is I use my middle finger again to basically fret strings 4 3 and 2. I'm playing the 1st string open and I'm playing the 5th string open muting out the slow E again. So, so there's my A. Um, I mean if you can get into an A uh, by using yeah, this sort of... St I can't actually do it this way because my fingers are, are too wide to be able to fret an A like that type of thing. And two fingers I can do an A but when I do the two finger A I end up muting out this uh, first string here, the high E, which is good for rock music, but it's not going to work for this one. Um, so that's why I use this way here, just using that middle finger, and then from from getting from the A to the E minor, it's just as simple as basically just lifting up and going straight into it. Okay, so let's go through that. Okay, so with the verse you do the E minor, G, D and A four times and then you get into the pre-chorus and the pre-chorus is just E minor to A. Okay, now the pre-chorus is four lots of E minor to A. Um, now when you go from E minor to A you can either lift it right off um, your uh, middle finger and go down onto the A uh, position there, or you can just like that. Whatever your preference is, you can just basically bend down onto the A, bend back onto the E minor. That's the beauty of having wide fingers. Um, you know, there's some advantage to it, I guess. So down and up into it. Okay, so. You do the pre-chorus, which is four times of E minor and A, and then you do the chorus, which is E minor and A again, and you do that two more times. Okay, and then you're back into the second verse, which is your E minor, your G, your D, and your A again. So it's pretty uh, straightforward there. Now if you want a, a dreary little um, uh, intro, um, because it's not the most happiest of uh, songs. Um, what I have done is I can do basically two open on the second fret. So, okay. And then I go to fretting uh, the this, this second string on the third fret. And I do that two times. And then two more open on that second string. And then I go to the first string on the second fret and do three. Then I go to the 2nd string 3rd fret and then back to the 1st string for 3 open. Now I go to the 2nd fret 2nd string. Back to the 1st string for 3 more opens. And then back to the 2nd string for 3, 2, open. So let's try that.
and into the E minor. Okay, so that sets the little dreary uh, mood for the song. <laughs> Alright, um, okay, so hopefully that gives you some ideas, and uh, thanks for watching.